So welcome back, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. How are you all doing? Do comment underneath how you're doing. Are you a Fortnite player? Do you play Fortnite? It's never really been for me, but it's hitting all the news, so we thought we best have a little chat about it. So what is going on with Fortnite, Apple, Android, Google Play Store? What's happening? Mainly the mobile version of Fortnite. What is the issue? Epic Games, not happy. Apple, not happy. Google, joining in on the fun. What's it all about? Of course, it's only about ever about one thing. Money. Of course it's about money. Simple as, they all want more money. Apple, a ridiculous amount of money they want from them. They obviously want to keep their own money for their own game, but obviously don't want to pay to be housed, should we say. So, Fortnite was in the Apple App Store. Fortnite was in the Google Play Store. Now removed due to money. So, Apple took a huge... 30% of in-play revenue, folks, okay? So in-app revenue. So when you purchase within there, they have their own cryptocurrency, should we say, their own online currency, not a crypto as such, their own currency within the game. And in that, you buy that personally, Apple take 30% of that fee. That's a lot of money for something that Apple really do nothing about. Apple state that they need to take this cut to be able to cover their costs of being able to run them within their app store. Bit of a lie, isn't it? You have to pay to be a developer in the App Store anyway, so that covers that cost. Um, yes, you pump a lot through it, but you don't. they don't specifically host the game. They, you can download the app from them. That's about it. If anything, it brings them more customers. Being able to play Fortnite on an Apple device will bring them more customers. People will buy that device. If you could only play it on an Android device, people would buy that device. Currently, you cannot get Apple Fortnite anymore. Okay, It cannot be bought. You cannot buy Fortnite on an Apple device. Um, you cannot download an Apple device, you know how it works. Google have also removed it. Google have removed it, but you can still download it onto your Android device directly from Epic Games. So what they did, the in-currency, you had the option, say, for $9.99, you could buy 10,000 of their in-game currency. They changed. If you bought it directly from Epic themselves, you could download for $7.99, you could get, say, 10,000 of their own currency. So what they've done, what they undercut, so no one was buying the currency via... Apple, you were going directly to Epic Games' website via the in-game browser, bypassing the in-game purchasing. This is a breach of rules within the Apple Store and the Google Store, bypassing their in-game purchasing. This means Apple would get no money, um, Google would get no extra money, they weren't happy. So they removed it, and this has now become a court case. Who will win? Who do you think will win? don't know if you guys have wondered where it had gone. Comment underneath who you think is going to win this. I don't think Fortnite will win this. They may strike a deal... I can see Google or Apple coming in first. Probably Google will strike a deal with them, some form of exclusivity, which will help sort the game out and make it better. Hopefully, it will get back on one device, but at the moment, you can still get it onto Android devices, so Android needs to act quick, or else people are just going to bypass them full stop. Makes sense, doesn't it? Apple, they've got to sort something out because you can't do anything to get it on Apple. Apple, though, I do not believe will back down. So when it comes down to it, and you might be wondering what was going on, it's regarding all regarding money. Simple as that. Um, we will monitor it as it goes on. There will be, well, they, they put legal proceedings against each other at the moment. We will see what happens. Fingers crossed, it all sorts itself out. Hopefully, for you Fortnite lovers. If you do play Fortnite, comment and leave. Let me know your thoughts, and we will see what happens. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Do subscribe if you're interested in this sort of news, and I will see you all soon.